pal Lyman, Colton Webb here with Five Star Preps. Colton, first of all, you just got your first scholarship offer football from Wofford the other day. Just, just first of all, what's that mean to you to get that offer from Wofford? Uh, it means a lot. It, it shows that I've been working hard and it's starting to finally pay off. And it, it just needs to keep getting better and better and hopefully more come around. What was your reaction from your family when you first told them that you got the news that you, you got an opportunity to play college football? Oh, they were very excited for me. Just the chance I have to be able to go to and get an education for cheaper than most kids and have a chance to also play at the next level with the sport I love. It's something that not many people get to experience, and I'm glad I have the opportunity to do that. What did the Wofford staff say they liked about your game film and you that made them pull the trigger on offering you? They said they liked how hard I played. I played physically, I, and I'm a, I'm a good teammate with everything that I do. I don't bring people down. Just playing hard is the main thing. And Colton, looking back on your your junior season out here at Powell, I know you guys had a tremendous win loss record, high win percentage. But for you individually, what do you think about how your season went? What you need to improve on, and what what your strengths were? You thought we, I had a good year last year. It was my first year playing D end. I I got to get better on hand techniques and everything that comes with that. But coming out this year, I'm gonna hopefully doubling my stats that I had last year, especially making the playoffs like unlike we did last year. Is there anybody that you look at personally that's a, a defensive end, an outside linebacker that you look at for, for technique, for pass rushing, that sort of thing? I like watching Khalil Mack, people like that, I like how he comes off the edge, how physical he is. And looking back at the colleges, it sounds like you've been all over the place this spring, seeing some practices and whatnot. Uh, of all the places you've been, who would you say had the prettiest campus so far? Uh, Wofford, no doubt. It, it had a homey feeling to it. That and ETSU, those, those two really stood out to me. And you said you got to visit Air Force uh, in Colorado, I guess, the academy out there. You know, a lot of people haven't been out there. I, I personally think it's gorgeous. What did you think of the Air Force Academy? I thought it was beautiful. It, it has a great campus to it, a lot of benefits to going to joining the military there. It, it's, a great, it's a great program they've got going down there. And, and Colton, of all the coaches on the college level you're talking to right now, who would you say you're building the best relationship with and, and what kind of what sticks out about that relationship? Uh, the D-line coach for Wofford, uh, Coach Smith, he, me and him call each other usually once a week and just catch up, not, even if it's not about football. He's just He cares about me more as a person than he does a football player and how I do in life, and that means a lot. And I know, Powell, you guys are looking forward to the – season ahead 2019 season ahead what do you think this team what's the stress point this spring I know you're going through spring practices right now what's what's the motive to get better who are the key guys you guys have to replace to, to have a successful run again this year we have to replace Riley Bryant we have to replace Alvin Stacy we have to replace Du Shreve there we have to replace Matt Hipsher we have to replace a lot but we have young talent coming in and working with them and getting them better in practice and pushing them harder just going to get us more successful for the season and lastly, what's Coach Lowe like? I know he gets out there, gets in shotgun, gets under center, wears cleats to practice. What kind of guy is he? He gets into it, but he, he has a winner's personality. He's the reason that he's turned this program around. He's shown us how to be winners.